I think one of the powerful things about winning more student voice in LCFF and just in so many places in the district was the power of shifting adult mindsets, um, particularly raising expectations of what young people of color are able to bring. Not the leaders of tomorrow, but they are leaders right now. And I think particularly young people of color who are overlooked, uh, you don't have to be a great public speaker to be a great leader. Um, you don't have to win the popularity ca contest at your school to be worthy of governing. And I think we're able to show that with so many different young leaders coming through, playing different roles in this work. Um, I was thinking about a particular moment. Well, I guess I want to share a powerful example from Rosa de Leon, who was the organizer at the time of launching our student voice work in the district, a former youth alumni who is now our senior strategy director. Um, Rosa kind of summed it up. She said the relationship between students and the district went from the district seeing and realizing that it's not so scary to involve youth, and in fact, it's actually the right thing to do, to now actually realizing that having young people at the table is essential to transformation. And that is the power of what we've learned in this work.